this is our Woodbury course walkthrough. There are eight obstacles in the course. There's a three minute, 30 second time limit. I'm on the starting pad for obstacle number one here. We've got the trapeze arch. You've got this trapeze, the nunchuck, and the next one. Then you're allowed to use the post and the holds on the post however you need to get to the ending pad there on the red. You can also use the I-beam as much as you need to to stabilize on that end pad. Just make sure not to grab the straps. Don't grab up on the top of the nunchuck or you'll have a warning to come down before you make any forward progress. For the six to nine year olds, they'll have a ring on there instead of the nunchuck. Obstacle number two here is the Hot Wheels. You got your starting pad here, another wheel, and then a long red pad there that's not Velcro down at all, so it can tip. And then another blue wheel, and your landing is on the red and black pad at the end. The six to nine year olds will have an additional pad there that's closer for the landing that pushes this next one a little further so their jump is easier for the second wheel. Coming around to our third obstacle, we've got the Lache Alley. So you've got all the bars in this alley to land on that raised blue pad at the end. The six to nine year olds will have some rings coming down from these first three bars to make all the distances easier. You can use as many or spheres as you want to get to that blue pad at the end. And this one is just hands only. Once you land on here, we're moving to our fourth obstacle. You've got the devil's pipes and the ropes. So you've got all of these devil's pipes that are ascending. And then on the other side, for the 10 to 13s and the 14 plus, you only have the rope to use to land on that red pad at the end. For the six to nine year olds, you have the all these pipes, the rope, and then the last four pipes on that side as well. So we'll have those top two blocked off. So six to nine year olds know they just have the rope, and those four pipes afterwards. Move on to our next obstacle. And again, on the rope too, one thing to point out is you can use hands and feet if you want. But on the pipes, you can only use hands. And this cross beam at the end is in play just to protect yourself from hitting your head on it. Moving on then to the balance wall. Circle pad is your starting platform. You're allowed to touch the starting wall here however you need to to get onto the roller. And then you can use the rock holds and the wall however you need to. So it's only hands and upper body on the wall. It's only feet and lower body on the roller. The landing pad is right here. Our next obstacle is the slot swing. So you got the ring and the sloth pipe there to use to land on that red pad at the end. The ring is hands only, the, the sloth pipe is any part of your body however you need to through it. Um, for the six to nine year olds, they'll have the landing pad a little closer towards them. Then. We've got the hard right turn. Your starting pad is right here. Six and nine year olds will have these strapped down, and probably has rings. A uh, few older groups have these that they're taking hands only into the two chimes here where they'll build up their swing. You can see you can use those bottom pads. 
much as you need. So I'll even onto the trapeze. And then back to the string that we were on earlier. And landing on our passive platform here. And I don't think I mentioned it, but in the entire course, all the landings are on them or completely passed. And then we're moving to our final obstacle. We've got Ring Mountain. So you've got your run up as far as you need up against the wall. And using the trampoline, however you want to get up to the rings. Rings are hands only, and then the rope. It's hands and feet, however you want. And then taking that last ring all the way up to the top of the smaller blue wall. You cannot use the front face of that blue wall at all, either to push off of or to step on for your landing. The six to nine year olds will have all of the rings dropped down about another foot. So as soon as you get completely on top of the wall and you've stopped any backwards progress to not go of the ring, that'll be a clear on the course. Again, there's eight obstacles in the course and a three minute, 30 second time limit. Good luck everyone, thanks.